Hello everyone, this is Professor Vijay Sekhat from the Sun Institute of Engineering and Technology. We are going to discuss unit number 4, 3D concept and object representation in which all up to this topic we have covered in our previous video. Now in this video we are going to cover a Bezier curves, properties of Bezier curves and surfaces and design technique using Bezier curves. Now first of all Bezier curve, it is developed by a French engineer Pierre Bezier. So it is known as Bezier curves and that is developed for a Renault automobile bodies. It has a number of properties and easy to implement so it is widely available in various CAD and graphics packages and that's why it is so much popular and it is available in almost all graphics packages. A Bezier curve section can be fitted to any number of control points. That means we can draw a Bezier curve with a three control points. We can draw a Bezier curve with the four control points also. We can draw a Bezier curve with the five control points also and so on. A number of control points and the relative position gives a degree of a Bezier curve. That means a Bezier curve is a polynomial of degree one less than the number of control points. Here, this is a three control point Bezier curve. So degree of that particular Bezier curve will be two. Here, this is a four control point Bezier curve. So 4 minus 1 is 3 and similarly here a degree of this will be 4. With this interpolation spline, a Bezier curve can be specified with the boundary condition or blending function. But a most convenient method is to specify a Bezier curve with the blending function. Consider we are given n plus 1 control points position from p0 to p1 where pk is equals to xk, yk, zk. That is a general representation P0 to Pn. This is blended to gives a position vector P of u which gives a path of approximate Bezier curve that is P of u is equals to k is equals to 0 to n pk into Bezier of k comma n of u where Bezier of k comma n of u is a Bezier blending function where u varies from 0 to 1 and that Bezier blending function can be calculated by c n k into u raised to power k into 1 minus u raised to power n raised to power n minus k where c n k is a combination which we will we were studied during a school days and that can be calculated by c n k is equals to n factorial upon k factorial into n minus k factorial. For efficiency, we can use a recursive calculation of binomial coefficient also and that recursive calculation can be done by c n k is equals to n minus k plus 1 upon k into c n k minus 1 where n greater than equals to k. We can also solve a Bezier blending function by recursion as a Bezier of k comma n of u is equals to 1 minus u into Bezier of k comma n minus 1 of u plus u into Bezier of k minus 1 into k minus 1 comma n minus 1 of u where n greater than k greater than equals to 1 and Bezier of k comma k of u is equals to u raised to power k and Bezier of 0 comma k of u is equals to 1 minus u raised to power k. That means this recursive, uh, recursive calculation will stop at either of these two terms. When these two terms comes at that time we are going to put this value and then we are going to a reverse step and finally after completion of recursion, we'll get answer of Bezier k comma n of u. Now, a parametric equation for a vector equation R vector, from vector vector equation is generalized one, and parametric equation that means we are going to uh, separate x, y, and z component, and it can be given by x of u is equals to k is equals to zero to n x k into Bezier of k comma n of u this is Bezier blending function and this is a particular x value of that particular point that is pk and similarly for y and z component. Now next topic is properties of Bezier curve. Bezier curve have several properties out of these some are first one it always passes through first control point that is p dash p of 0 is equals to 
P0. That means it always starts from first control point. Second, that is, it always passes through last control point. So that means a Bezier curve section will always end. That is, P of 1 will always give me a Pn. Always end at a last control point. Third property that is parametric first order derivative of Bezier curve at the end point can be obtained from a control point coordinates and that can be calculated by P dash of 0 is equals to minus N P0 plus N P1 and similarly P dash of 1 can be calculated by minus N P N minus 1 plus N into P. That means a first order derivative we can easily calculate from control point itself. Similarly, a parametric second order derivative can also be calculated using endpoints control point position. And that con using that control point coordinates, P double dash of 0 can be calculated as n into n minus 1 into bracket P2 minus P1 minus P1 minus P2. And similarly, P double dash of 1 can be calculated as n into n minus 1 into bracket P n minus 2 minus P n minus 1 and whole minus pn minus 1 minus pn. Now next property is a Bezier curve always lies within a convex rule of a control points. That means we have already discussed in previous video that convex rule means a convex polygon which encloses all the control points and that means a Bezier curve will always lies within that particular convex rule. Next is Bezier blending function is always positive that means a Bezier blending function cannot be a negative value. Next property that is sum of all Bezier blending function will always give me 1. If you are going to solve a be all Bezier blending function for a particular Bezier curve section at that time when we are going to add all the Bezier blending function of that curve section it will give me always answer is equals to 1. That means a k is equals to 0 to n Bezier of k comma n of u will always equals to now next is uh, any curve position is a simply a weighted sum of a control point position that means uh, any position curve position is a weighted sum if we are going to give uh, some position with more weight say for example we are going to specify two control point at same position then it will pull curve towards that particular position that means because uh, at that position we are increased to weight that we will discuss in next slide also a Bezier curve smoothly follows the control points without erratic oscillation. That means it smoothly follows the control point path. Now next is design technique using Bezier curves. That means how we can use this Bezier curve properties to design our required curves. For obtaining a closed Bezier curve, if you want a closed Bezier curve, we, then we need to specify our first and last control point at the same position. Here it is given in this example. Here my P0 is at this position. P0, P1, P2, P3, P4 and P5. Again P5 is at the same position. Here we are give, so we provide my first and last control point at the same position. Then it will give me a close part because we know that by properties of Bezier curve, it always passes through first control point and it always passes through last control point. So it will give me a closed Bezier curve. If we specify multiple control points at the same position, it will give a more weight and a curve will pull towards the position towards the position. We will we were discussed in a previous slide that if you are going to assign a two points at the same position, then here it will increase the weight of this particular position and in that case a curve will be put, pulled towards that position as compared to this because here we have specified only one control point so curve is not pulled that much as compared to this position. Next a Bezier curve can be fitted for any number of control points but it requires a higher order polynomial calculation that means a Bezier curve can be fitted that we can draw a Bezier curve with uh, any number of control point but when we are going to increase the number of control point at the same time it will going to increase a polynomial degree and so if we are increase the degree of a polynomial we require a more calculation and that's why we require more computation power so solution to this that is a complicated Bezier curve can be generated by dividing whole curve into 
a several lower order polynomial curves we are generate a complete complicated curve with a small curve sections part part of that particular complicated curve that is small curve section and that is of lower order bezier curves so we can get a better control over a shape of a small region and also it will gives me one more advantage and that is if we are design that whole parts with the small small bezier curves then we can control that particular small portion also and that will not going to affect my second curve section or second part of that my complicated bezier for a zero order parametric continuity that is c0 we put end point of a first curve section and a start point of a second curve section at a same position and it is shown in this figure that is here we are going to uh, join two curve section with a c0 conti continuity that is zero order parametric continuity and it is very much easy in a bezier curve because we know that it always passes through first and last control point so last control point of my first curve section that is p0 p1 p2 and my first control point of my second curve section that is p0 dash p1 dash p2 dash and p3 dash must be at the same position so it will join with a c0 continuity now for a first order continuity it must be in a zero order continuity that means this particular intersection point that is last point of a first curve section and first point of second curve section will be at an equal position and one more thing that is the last two point of a first curve section that means p2 and p1 and first two point of a second curve section that is p0 dash and p1 dash must be a collinear that means it comes into a line and then second constraint that is a second control point of a curve section is at position pn plus pn minus pn minus 1 so that a control point is equally spaced what does it mean that a distance of p1 to p2 must be equals to distance of p0 dash to p1 dash that means this distance must be equals to this one now for a second order continuity it must be in a first order continuity and next restriction that is a last three control points that is suppose this is a first curve section and this is a second curve section then last three will be p3 p2 and p1 and first three of second curve section that is p1 G, p0 dash p1 dash and p2 dash all are in a single line that means all are must be a collinear one and second one that is that must be a equally spaced that means a space between this one p1 p2 it must be equals to a space between p2 p3 and similarly that must be equals to p0 dash to p1 dash and must be equals to p1 dash to p2 dash and that space can be calculated by this formula that is pn minus 2 plus 4 into pn minus pn minus 1 that must that will specify a position of this p2 dash so that control points are equally spaced. C2 continuity can be unnecessarily restrictive because especially for a cubic curve, for a cubic curve we know that if degree of a polynomial will be cubic then control point must be a 1 more than the degree that is 3 plus 1 that is 4 control point. Out of this 4 control point, uh, 3 control point are put in a collinear position with a position restricted because for a second order continuity we must be put that points in a collinear and with a equally spaced distance so we we left only we have left only a one control point for a curve section which is used for a changing a shape of the curve so it will be unnecessarily restrictive for this particular curve that's it. Thank you. Keep watching. Keep learning. Have a nice day.